Uh, meanwhile, here in South Texas, we do expect to see some of the effects of that storm. We have Chief Meteorologist Alan Holt here now. And Alan, what is it that we should be looking for? Well, we're going to be looking out to the beaches. It'll be primarily coastal side effects from this juggernaut of a storm. It's a cat three hundred twenty mile per hour storm moving north at 10 miles per hour. Very well defined. eye. wanted to glean some lessons off of this for just our own sake. I know it's not a threat here, but but this is the wind field, the yellow tropical storm force, the red hurricane force, and we're going to overlay the cone on this just to show how the strong winds go outside of the forecast cone, meaning the cone isn't the end all be all for impacts. They can extend well outside of a cone. This is forecast to make landfall Wednesday. Looks like in the afternoon between Tampa and Fort Myers as a big major hurricane there and then move inland as a category one storm across the peninsula of Florida. The other thing is I think one of the hardest hit storm surge area is going to be around the Fort Myers region. As this storm moves north of those bays, it's going to send a lot of wind into those locations. Some storm surge could be over nine feet, nine to 10 feet in spots. Also going to be a slow moving system. So uh, over a foot of rain through the central part of the Florida uh, peninsula there, and that's through this Saturday. For us, again, it's going to be mainly the wave action. As this moves through the eastern Gulf, it will send waves up to about four to six feet on Thursday. The period's going to be long too, up around 10 seconds. So that's going to elevate the rip current concern and give us this coastal flooding. We've got a coastal flood advisory in effect starting at midnight tonight. That'll go through 10 a.m. Friday, September the 30th. And for us again, it's going to be the rip current risk. The water up to the dunes in spots is going to make driving difficult with that coastal flooding, and this is all going to be Wednesday. I think most impactful Thursday, and then we'll see it kind of recede on Friday. Leslie, Mike.